So I thought it'd be worth mentioning before this video that I am not a carpenter or a fence builder. This is the first fence I've ever built. I'm a wannabe carpenter at best. All right, what's up everybody? Sean Murphy, OffGridEmpire.com. Looks like a lot of people loved the fence video, how to build a simple fence. Now, I know a ton of people are buying land, buying property, buying houses, and a lot of times people are looking at different options for fences because like most people, I love dogs. I have a dog right here and he's currently eating daffodils. Hey, Augie, knock it off. Hey. And you know, you gotta keep them in the yard. Um, you don't want them necessarily roaming around where there's roads back there uh, or there's neighbors and there's other things that they can get into. You wanna keep them contained. So what's a option? Build a fence. So I had a fence all the way around the property for the most part, just as a privacy fence that we had when we bought the house. This one is, uh, a simple hog panel construction that I kind of thought of, looked at YouTube videos, made up my own mind about how I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna give you a cost breakdown today about what and how much that cost. Um, Cause it looked like a lot of people enjoyed that video. So really this is about 125 feet ish of uh, a fence. Uh, the reason I did it the way I did it was because I knew it would look kind of good. I could hang bird feeders and whatnot on it. Uh, but mostly for function and price. So if you look around and you get quotes or bids from people who build fences for a living, it's gonna be super duper expensive. It's gonna be way more expensive than you think. And it makes sense, right? Those, those fences are supposed to be there for a very, very long time. And so I decided that I just wanted to do it myself. I'm kind of a DIY type of person. And I wanted to have it under a budget. So my budget was about $1,000. Um, and at the time when I bought these materials, it was uh, around $750, um, but I just, I'm doing the cost breakdown for what it is now because two by fours, pressure treated pine poles, hog panels, and really any of the hardware you would need is a little bit more expensive now. Um, I don't know what that's due to inflation maybe, or just supply and demand. People are buying them up like crazy. Um, so looking at all this, uh, let's start with the cost breakdown. So all the materials, I'll read them off. It's, I needed six two by fours, two by fours, um, about 19 25 each for all the two by fours I need for all the gates and the poles which I'll show you I used two two by fours screwed together in order to make those poles for the gates um, that was all all in about two hundred and sixty nine dollars and fifty cents for the gates the gates I built myself and I can do a separate video on that it's a pretty straightforward design um, eight hinges that I bought uh, cost about 695 each so all in all you know times eight is about $55.60. So I needed uh, two hinges for each gate. I had tw the 20 hog panels that I bought, um, about a total of $14.99 each, totaling, you know, with 20 hog panels, uh, about 300 bucks, so $299.80. They're eight feet long, 50 inches tall, four gauge wire. I got 14 pine poles. The pine poles were $12.99 each, $181.86. 15 bags of quickcrete, about $5.75 each, totaling $86.25. The two latches that I needed for the gates, $9.15 each, $18.30 total. Screws were about $8 a box, and the staples were $18.99 for a big like uh, container of them. So, and then the tools that I used are an impact driver, a DeWalt impact driver, DeWalt circular saw, cordless. Um, a hammer and bolt cutters to cut the fence and the panel to the length size I needed for the gates. The total for the whole cost of the fence was under $1,000. It was $938.29. So it's been here about a year. It's been through some pretty harsh wind, rain, snow, sleet, ice, uh, heat, dry. It, the wood is warped a little bit. Uh, I might have to replace a pole here and there, but overall I used about three fourths of a bag of concrete, of quickcrete for each Pole. Uh, I really wanted it to be solid and in there. So, uh, so far, nothing bad has happened. The gates might have shifted a little bit, uh, but overall, they're still level. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. We got these lights hanging on here, so at night it's really, really nice. And we just got some hooks for that. So, I can break that down too. You can just find those lights at, at Lowe's. But, anyways, I want to do that cost breakdown. I thought it would be really helpful for people that like that video and are looking at, you know, building a fence in their own backyard by hand. Um, I also had a post hole digger. Forgot to mention that. Pretty straightforward, but uh, I would use a post hole digger for that. I would just dump the, um, once I dug the hole, I would use 
uh, yeah, the post hole digger and I would use the uh, spade. And once I dug that hole, you know, about, once I dug that hole twice as big as the pole is in diameter, I would just put the pole in, fill it with quick, quick crete, dump it in there, level it, and then pour water in there and wait for it to dry. Very, very simple. Um, so the construction overall is really simple. Um, it took me like two days to do the whole thing. Uh, it might take longer or shorter depending on your, you know, work ethic, I guess. But, I mean, I would uh, recommend anybody do this. So it, right now it's a really, really functional fence. And, you know, it's only good for stopping like dogs, chickens, and goats. Uh, other than that, it's not really going to stop any rabbits or anything from getting through. The panels are pretty big. Um, the gaps in the panels are pretty big. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.